this mini guide is going to go over creating icons for items and I think the process is the same for spells. I'm not sure if races use the atlas editor but it does or can use the convert UI assets. So let's create our atlas by pressing this button to bring this up. New. Name our atlas. Make sure it's much unique even to your own mods. You got items just because it's a test. You got items. Okay, and we don't really need to edit the icon size for items. I'm not 100% sure for spells for the atlas. If it's a small mod, you probably don't need to go much bigger than the default 512. You plan to add more to the mod lids, you can always make a new atlas for those or make a new one from scratch for all your items. But then you do have to reselect your icons in your root templates. Sometimes it's better to just reuse but make new icon atlases. Troll tide, that's my examples. So you can import as PNG. That's what we're going to do here, and then it will resize to the 64 ratio, as you can see here, and then save, and then we got our atlas. So these are tests. It's not actually going to be icons these items would use, but it's just to give you an example. Icon, drop down, P4 test outfit. And save. Now, if we go here, it'll be our custom icon. Okay, now to make the icons that show up when we hover over the items, we want to go to convert UI assets and like the um, adding skill and item icons guide, it says to copy this into here and then we want to add our PNG files so all these press OK yep converted open it again go down to the next one where are we going past it these are uh, items for the skills you'd use tooltips slash, slash icons. Add them again. Okay. Converted seven files. Okay. Um, so now if I was to open our mods folder GUI would find and convert it to EDS. Now these have gone darker because my PNG format wasn't correct um, because I converted from, from an old DDS to PNG and then back to DDS which can have some bad results as you can see. If you have your original icons then um, copy and paste them into these folders make this folder set up here so the mods your mod name gui assets tooltips item icons and the control ui icons items png it makes some low res ones as well so smaller size and now what we would do to get these working in game is go to projects, project settings and publish local so it would create the metadata file here, the information it needs here to register our icons. And don't worry, you do not have to touch mod IO if you do not want to, you don't have to press this button whatsoever, you can always only go for publish local if you want to. Okay, that is the end of this. Oh, wait a minute. I was going to say end of this guide, but you can actually use this for races as well because races now have their own path in the GUI folder as well to get, open up more compatibility between race mods. 
and the sub races as well. I've never made a race myself, I do plan to eventually, so if I do ever get to that point I will hopefully cover it in a tutorial if no one else has done by that point. So thank you for watching and I hope it helps.